Yo, man, it's Rat King, and I just jumped off the porch with Dirty Glove Best. Love on speed, that I like a phone. I thought it was real, let it. When I jump in the field, got to keep it calm. I got to get money to the day I'm gone, baby. All right. We got Rock Ken jumping off the porch with us today. Yo, fuck going. What's going on with your game? Man, I'm chilling. For sure, man. It's a pleasure to see you on the porch with us, man. man. Long time overdue. First things first, though. Welcome home, my boy. Appreciate it. Real still, man. It's a good thing to see you back out here working and grooving and doing what you do. Yeah. So, since you got home, right, what was the first thing you did when you touched down? I went to see my family. Yeah, I went to see my family. That's the first thing I did. I went to the studio. Went to the studio. Yeah. How'd it feel to see your loved ones again? Good. That just ain't felt fake. It ain't feel real. What made it feel fake? I don't know. Driving on the street. It's all up there. Yeah. That shit felt fake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was your reaction once you seen them again and shit, though? Just happy. It ain't feel real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How would you say your mindset changed once you came home? Uh, I'm mature. I'm mature, just focus. Real spill. So since returning home, what's some of the shit you've been working on like on the day-to-day -day type shit? Like where your head at? What's your day-to-day -day shit like now that you refocus and shit like that? Uh, I've been focusing in the studio, doing shows, rehearsing, just staying out of trouble. Hell yeah. yeah. So let's take it back, right? How would you describe the way of life and the culture of Augusta, Georgia? Uh, like, it's, I don't know, it's like, it's like Atlanta, but like smaller. We just, they're just smaller and they, I don't know, it's just really the same thing, just smaller, like a lot of them. You got a good side and you got a bad side. Yeah. Yeah. Real spill. How would you compare the two cities, like Atlanta? Oh, I ain't can't compare Atlanta to Augusta, but you can't. Hell no. You can. The shit I'm saying, Augusta still got you. Know what I'm saying some shit that stand out about it. Oh yeah, 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 Real yeah. Shit. Yeah, yeah, they do, they do. They, you don't get in trouble in Augusta though. In Atlanta, you can really prosper. Yeah, you can't prosper in Augusta. But Augusta, like, I don't know. It's a good, it's it's a good city because I'm from there, but I don't know. If he got like his own thing, he gonna get his own thing. He gotta get it though. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's some of the shit you want to see happen for the city of Augusta? I need some more studios, <laughs> like a like a little label down there or something, like just something to do. Yeah. Ain't nothing to do down there. Yeah. yeah. Would you say it's a lot of talent coming out of Augusta? Yeah, it's a lot of talent. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of talent. They just be hating though. They don't be really hating on me though. It just I don't know. Why you feel that is? Cause I don't know. Cause you one of the ones, nigga. You got a pilot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Facts. So what do you feel like it would take for the spotlight to hit the city of Augusta? Just you just gotta wait. It gonna it gonna happen. You just gotta wait for it. It gonna happen though. It just all cities gotta wait to have that. That moment. Yeah. So how would you describe your childhood and your upbringing? I like, it was rough, but it was fun. Like just close, we got a close family. A lot, like I don't know. It was it was fun though. It was like just outside every day, just doing like you know what boys gonna do. Yeah, that's real. So was you growing up like growing up? Was you close with your family and shit like that? Yeah. 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 As you get older, do you realize how important that shit was growing up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's some of the shit that stand out of that make, you know what I'm saying, family and friends and, you know what I'm saying, solid support system important to you? Because that friendship don't last long. Family is going to last forever. Like, that friend, it be, it going to last a while, but it be, it going to last. I ain't never fell out with nobody, but, like, and I know it ain't going to be forever. You can't be nobody friend forever. You got to grow up. Family. They gonna last. That's real. Yeah. So when would you say you realize, you know, the streets of Augusta can get ugly? Since I was little. I've been to now nah, Augusta really got out of control like 2020, 20. They really just got out of control. We went like murders every week. 
just got like that. But it been out like it been where you could die, but it just it just got like that. It just got like that. What you feel turned the violence up in the city? Niggas thinking they, bro. I don't know. <laughs> niggas hearing that, niggas just thinking like hearing all that music, let them get to their head. Yeah. All them switches and all that. Back though. God, niggas let that music get to their head. Everybody got a gun there. Yeah. God. So at what point you realize the streets was ugly and shit, but you realize, you know what I'm saying, I still got to make a way for myself. So when would you say you jumped off the porch? I know I was porch young, but I really want to I really ain't jump off the porch like, Jump off the porch. I had, I jumped off the porch like all right. I had a gun. And I was just like doing bad shit. I went. I ain't jumped off the porch like I'm shooting. I'm just shooting niggas and shit like that. Hell yeah. no. Nah. But I jumped off the porch like I could have gotten some real trouble at a young yeah. age. Like probably like 14. 14. I was running around, but I ain't just jump off the porch just shooting niggas and shit. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't jumped off the porch. I was really cool. Yeah. Just chill. Yeah. Hey. So what's some of the shit you can say you done seen or been through from jumping off the porch at an early age of 14? Everything really. I don't know. I just seen some crazy shit. Uh, what would you say is the biggest lesson the streets taught you? Uh, just a think ahead. Like you can't be thinking about the, you can't be thinking about the streets. Like if you're really in the streets, you ain't gonna be thinking about trying to be a street nigga. Like if you thinking about trying to be a street, nigga, you ain't no real street. Like if you thinking all day, like how I could do this, like to be in the streets. Like if you if you always thinking like slide all day. Like strikers, like hot bosses. You ain't really no street nigga. Like you just a nigga who wanna be in the streets. But if you a nigga who wanna get out the streets, like a real young nigga who really been through that and really then went through that, you really wanna get out the streets. You tired yeah. of that. You been through that at a young age already. Yeah. Oh God. What's some of the shit you feel it takes for a nigga mindset to change, you know, from readjusting to like, look, this well, ain't the way. Consequences of coming to the streets. When you beefing with somebody and they get and they get killing your homeboy or something, you go to jail, or like, like your homeboy change up on you, just consequences. Like consequences don't change. So when would you say you started facing your consequences? I ain't really. I faced, I faced my consequences when I went to jail. I ain't yeah. really faced no other consequences. Cause I wasn't really. I really wasn't doing nothing lame. I was just like, just in the streets. Like, but I'm just the person who had to get some money out the streets. I ain't really. I had a little beef, but yeah. Real spill. Yeah. So when would you say you decided to start fucking with the music? I always like music. Uh, my mama had took me to a studio. But I was trash as hell. I had to really get <laughs> right. Like my mama ain't believing me because I was so trash at the earth. She like, like I was trash as hell when I first went to the studio. So how she, old was you when you first went? I think I was fourteen. So she took me, but she took me on like trying to see what I'm on. Like let me see. Now I was ass, so she ain't never take my auntie, then took me to the studio. I was still trash. <laughs> I really just had to keep on working. God. How long would you say it took for you to know to perfect your sound and your craft? A long time. I feel like when I went to jail, I perfected it. Yeah. Cause we used to be in a cell and like we'll play this game like you freestyle, like you'll come up with a word and then you freestyle and y'all just go back and forth. Like you might say short, then you freestyle something short, then it come to you. Like those niggas in jail can rap rap. So yeah. you got like they ain't just they ain't just got no auto tune. They really been in there just rapping like for years. So they play games like that. You just they just go back and forth. And I was yeah. Like, yeah, I got better. So you picked on some shit over there. Yeah, I can't I learned how to come up with stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What would you say is the most important thing you learned from your time away? Really? Just maturity. Really ain't never hit me that I was locked up. But I learned my lesson though as soon as I got in there. But they ain't never hit me, I was locked up. He ain't never hit me, I was locked up though. Yeah. How would you say you had to readjust to prison and shit like that? Like what's some of the shit you done seen? I ain't go to when... prison. Jail, my bad, my yeah, bad. I ain't go to prison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I ain't said I ain't go to prison. I had to readjust. I don't know, like I had to get a mindset like, all right, I got like a all right, I've been had a mindset like you play with me, I'm gonna be like, but I had to get a mindset like, I don't know my mind. I don't know how I just, I really just stayed the same, but I ain't gonna lie, I had got like a little more like, I ain't gonna play with you, like I had got a little more like, and then I got a little more grown in there, like, come around right, grown man. And then I had to get a little more like aggressive, like, like I, like on the streets, like you could play with a nigga and you can't, you can't play with like, like nigga being there doing mind games, like some, if I feel like if somebody like ask you for something and you give to him in jail, like that's extortion. 
So I had to get, like, I ain't know that at first. I had to learn all type of stuff. Like, what you mean? Go to more detail on that. Like, if somebody come to your room, they be like, I can like, they be like, hey, I can get some snacks. Like, you get it to them one day, they come back, like, every day they can, they can ask you for a snack. And then, like, some people scared to say no. Like, because people, yeah. like, they gonna take it. Like, they don't want that name on them, so they like, it's friendly extortion. So you had really got to be on some no. Like, I ain't, you can ask anybody when I was in there, I ain't never told nobody they could get nothing from me. Like, I was like, I used to be stingy, like, because I used to have that mindset. Like, it's a friendly extortion. Yeah. God. What's some of the other ways of jail, you know what I'm saying? that you had to goddamn readjust to so you wouldn't be green. You just got to like, like, just everything, like they, they manipulate us, like they read books all day and stuff. Like, you just got to, like it might be 10 bloods, it might be 10 crypts, and then you might just see them, like uh, one blood man, like he might come in there by himself and he might just start recruiting anybody, like crash dummies. He said, like, you can know like, oh, something finna pop off, like something finna happen. God, I had learned a lot. Yeah, for real. Yeah. So back to the music, you said you was trash at 14. Yeah. So when would you say, you know what I'm saying, it started picking up for you? He was like, I'm, I'm clean, you know what I'm saying? I'm fine now. I'm I always now. thought I was fine, but I was yeah. trash though. So yeah. when people started telling me, I was, people always told me I was fine too though. But I think it was good for the month at the age I was. But when I really thought I was hard, when I was like 17, and then 19, yeah, 19. Yeah. At 17, what would you say happened? I just got like, I started going to better studios. I started going to better studios. Then, once you know how to like work the studio, like you just gonna become better anyways. When you, but it like, I got like, if it's a bad studio, it's gonna throw me off anyway. I ain't gonna wear like record. God. So when would you say your music started reaching the likes of niggas like Jackson Made and the niggas that internet money? Like seven, like 16, 16, 17. 16, hours, I had hit a million views on audio, man. So I ain't hit no million views on that. 17, really, 17. Hell yeah. Yes. So what was your reaction once them niggas started hitting you up and shit? Man, it ain't seem, it always gonna seem unfait, like fake, like it's too good to be true, like. Yeah. That shit, that nigga ain't finna make it out the hood. Like you be like, you gonna make it out, but like not right now, like it's too early. Like you probably, I was like, bro, not right. I was like, I know I'm gonna make it out cause I'm a hard worker, but I was like, not right now, it's too early. But then it happened. Hell yeah. yeah. How'd it feel for them niggas to come get you out, you know what I'm saying, Augusta, Georgia? I oh, don't know, that shit felt fake. Oh, God. Augusta don't even believe it. <laughs> <laughs> so what believe. was the first thing that happened first? How did the whole process of goddamn unfold? At first, Taz had brought me up there, but I was hard head. Like, they used to call me a menace. I used to just be doing shit. Like, I used to fuck with all the engineers. Like, I was just young, though. Like, I was playful. And I ain't understand like, like the opportunity I had. So they had sent me home. Then I had came back again. And then I had tightened up that time when I came back again. I had got right, I was older then. At first they came and got me, I was like 16. Yeah, I, was like, I had just turned 16. Yeah, yeah. I was always, oh, y'all put them in the school. Oh, and then I didn't even tell my mom I was going to LA. So I put them in the school. Then I had went up there. Then I told her when I got up there. So I was already in trouble, I ain't even care really. <laughs> so you snuck to LA? Yeah, but my, my, nah, my grandma ain't even know. Nah, I just had, I ain't sneak there. I just went. <laughs> I ain't sneak there. I ain't sneak there. Like I told him when I got there. I just had went. <laughs> Real shit. So what was the first conversation you can, you know what I'm saying, remember that having with Taz Taylor and Jetson? Uh, I really met Jetson. He came in there hooping one day and then we just started making beats. Cause this studio, it had a, like Taz studio, it had a, like a, a basketball section. And he came in there and we just, he just went cooking up some beats. And then I just hopped on the beat. And then he just started fucking with me ever since then. For I was sure. like, that nigga Jetson followed me. I was like, what the hell? God. That's real. So ultimately what led for you to sign with Boy Meets Space and Internet Money? Uh, I supposed to been signed, but I had signed when I got in jail. I forgot why. I had signed when I got in jail though. I had supposed to be signed to them. What made it, what was it about them that allowed you to trust them and you know, made you feel comfortable? Cause they, they treat me like their little brother. God. I even, besides rap, I still feel like their little brother though. Yeah. How'd that make you feel to know that niggas treat you like family? Uh, good, like a family. Like, like you in good hands type yeah. shit? Yeah, make it easier, yeah. What would you say is the vision they got for you in your career? 
Be big. Be the biggest I can be. Real spill. God. What was the reaction in Augusta once Baby Chopper started going the fuck up? Oh, that was the best video I ever come out of Augusta. <laughs> 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 I ain't never had no video like that. Yeah. Oh God, that's that why shit I was up. clean. Yeah, that shit was clean. I was like, what the hell? I ain't never had no video like that before. Yeah. Like, they done had some lit videos, though, like Swift and them. Like Swift boy had a hard video, and yeah, you know, I know. But they ain't never had no video like that, though. That bitch was like, like, you see how my face was at, like, I had, like, sometimes you'll focus on my face. Like, they ain't never had, that was like some lyrical lemonade shit. Yeah. I ain't never had no video like that. So they got to thank Augusta, like, what the hell? Oh God. That shit looked like it was on a bigger scale type shit. Yeah. So how did that make you feel to know that you can goddamn portray shit like that out for the world to see? Good. I was happy here when that bitch dropped. Hell yeah. yeah. What was your vision and your mindset at that point? Like, shit. Like, shit. I ain't know. I was young and then I was just, just doing whatever. I was just really just rapping. Yeah. Yeah. See, now I got like a plan. Hell yeah. Okay. Would you say your time away affected what you had going on, the momentum you was building? Yeah, but I needed to be away, though. I was going to get in trouble regardless. It's just how bad I was going to get in trouble. So let's talk about Free Me, your first, like, official, a tissue, you know what I'm saying, yeah. debut type shit. Yeah. How do you feel about that project? I was locked up. I ain't really experienced it. But when I was locked up, though, the guard used to show me on the video, but I couldn't see how many views I had. So I, ain't, I was like, <laughs> I like, bro, that shit probably just doing all right. I'm like, bro, what the hell? I'm like, I ain't really knowing how many views it got because I can't see it. And, I, and then, what else? I really couldn't. I ain't really know what was going on. Yeah. So what was your mindset while you was in there knowing that you was still going up and shit? I ain't know I was going up. I ain't, I couldn't see it, but I heard my cousin. I'm gonna say, my, I know the guys was telling yeah, you going up. Bro, my cousin a liar though, bro, so I can't trust him, cause like, he gonna tell me I'm going up regardless. <laughs> so I'm like, bro, I'm like, yeah, it's I'm like, I'm my head, I'm like, I'm like, so what part he lying about, dude? <laughs> so, so I literally had to get on the phone, like, and I asked, and then I asked my girl, like, how many views he got, and then that's yeah. when I knew. Cause, but before I was calling her, I was just calling him. I was just like, bro, he lying. Cause he, he was lying though. He'll be like, bro, you got 20,000 in a day. <laughs> 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 and you like, won't fuck with it at yeah, all. I thought it was, I thought he was telling the truth. He'd be like, whole Augusta going crazy. You got 20,000 in a day. He be lying though. He a liar. Yeah, yeah the whole family know he be lying. <laughs> Would you say he was just telling you that to keep you sane while you was locked yeah, up? Yeah, he'll just keep, he probably doing that like, let me make Kenny day. Yeah. I knew it though, so I was like, that nigga lying, man. Yeah. I already knew his lies be out of control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how did it make you feel to know that you can bounce back with records like No Mind? Good, yeah, good. I really just made, I ain't even know how I made them. I was just in there just trying some shit. Okay. That shit real though. Yeah. So go ahead and explain to us what the new project means to you, Yahweh Child. Uh, it's, it's like building the sound for Augusta. What's the sound you would say you're trying to build? I don't know, just an authentic sound. What is it that you would say you want listeners to take from your music? Uh, it's like, oh, you can feel it like it's real music. Like you can feel it like it's real. Like You ain't gonna listen to it and just be like, you ain't gonna be forced to listen to it. Like it's real, like it's, it's like real music. Yeah. Yeah. So explain the meaning of Yahweh. Explain the world, you know what I'm saying? What that shit was, I didn't even know what the fuck it was. Like, all right, like I'm like religious, real religious. And my mama, she don't say Jesus, she say Yahweh and she say Yahshua, cause I don't know, that's just how like, we was brought up to say it. So that's why I don't say God child, I say Yahweh child. But it's the same thing as people will be having a God child tattoo. I got God child tattoo. All my cousins got the God child tattoo, but it's just Yahweh child, cause that's how my mama raised her kids to say it. Yeah. yeah. So what is it that you want that project to portray to the world? The same thing, like, no, nah, it was the same thing though, like, a, I don't know. I really want to show that how hard I am, but I can go harder than that though. Yeah. I left some hard stuff off the album. It would have really been no skips. There ain't no skips, but I left some hard stuff because yeah, I already, I had did it after. Why you feel to leave the hardest shit out and wait on it and sit on it and build a better product, a better project, you know what I mean? like. Let's put it out like this versus just rushing do and doing regardless. shit. I was gonna do that regardless. I was gonna make a better project regardless. Because when it dropped, I already knew, like, dang. So since that did so good, I can go, if I go harder, it's gonna just keep getting better and better. So I'm gonna just go harder. Yeah. And then I just had, 
And then it gave me momentum when it dropped. Cause I really got out with no momentum cause I wasn't out with Free Me. So I was just going off like, just rapping, like just rapping. But then that gave me like a, like, all right, some rapper like motion, like, all right. Like, yeah, a rapper, like, like a rapper feeling. Yeah. So what's your anticipation for the next project? Good. I just like, I like to see how it roll out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So what's some shit that you would say you do that makes you creative on a day-to-day -day basis, you know what I'm saying? Talk to myself. I be talking to myself sleep. I don't talk to myself though. But it's like, I I ain't finna ask nobody else something. I'm gonna ask myself. I ain't finna ask nobody. <laughs> I'm gonna ask myself. So if it's something like I feel like, like do, or uh, that's hard, I'm gonna just do it. I, so I'm gonna be creative. Like I just coming up with my own stuff. Like, I don't know. Real spill. Yeah. How does it feel to be working with the likes of some of the hottest artists coming out of Atlanta right now, like Young Sin, oh, yeah, yeah. Anti the Menace, and shit yeah. like that? Yeah, they hard. Like, I don't know, that just feel good. I, I feel like it's gonna be like the new generation. Like, all this music gonna be in history. Like, all right. Like, look at they did this song back then. It might be a picture we sit in the studio. They might be like, look at Sandy Ken, like, three years ago. Yeah. Like, something like, like look at when we were about 30, look at Ken and Sandy, they were both 18 and 19, or something like that. Yeah. Like, something like that. How that make you feel to know that you a young nigga from Augusta about to be a part of the new wave of shit going on? Good. This ain't crazy, but it had to happen for Augusta. Somebody had to do it, though. Somebody had to do it. Because Augusta really got a lot of talent. It just, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Then, then it's from Augusta, like, when people get some clout, they don't know how to act. You got to think, they ain't got no clout now. They don't know how to act with it. Like, so they pulling stunts. Yeah. Like, claiming, all, I don't know what they be doing now. But yeah, they yeah. done tightened up. They done tightened up, though. What type of impact would you say you want to leave, and not only in Augusta, but on the world? Uh, good impact, like, I don't know. It's just gonna come, like, just be real. I ain't gonna say just be yourself, but just be yourself, but be real, like, people ain't real no more, like, just be real. Mm. Why you feel that people are losing their individuality and shit nowadays? I don't know. I ain't even trying to speak on them like that. I don't <laughs> even know. These niggas is fake. I don't know. They just losing it. Yeah. I don't know. They just losing it. What you mean, like being they self? Or you, what you yeah, mean? Yeah, why you feel like nobody want to be they self no more? Because, bro, they want, bro, they want to be cool, bro, but they don't know, like, I don't know though, like you gotta really just feel like you just that nigga then. But you don't gotta like, I don't know. I don't know why they doing that. Everybody wanna be somebody though. But it's all right though, just to take like a little bit of something and then bring it to yourself though. Cause that's all the older rapper did anyway. They took something from somebody before us. Right. So you gonna do that, but you still gotta be yourself. Like, you still gotta be yourself. You gotta be unique with this yeah, shit. Yeah, you gotta be unique with it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You going 50-50 with a bitch? <laughs> nah, I might not. I might, I might pay. It depends though. If you my main bitch, yeah, I'm paying. I'm paying everything. Yeah. Your main bitch ain't finna fit ask you for nothing crazy, anyways. She gonna go ask you for what like you could provide. Like, if you like up a hundred, she ain't finna ask for no ten thousand dollar thing. She finna like really be. She should really be chilling. Like, all right, the bills paid. What you want? Some shoes. Like, here you go. Boom. Like, now fit out now with a new bit, now she might get outrageous because she trying to use you, but your main bitch, I ain't gonna go 50-50 because she ain't finna go too crazy in yeah. yeah. What's some of the shit you know a woman is worth going 50-50 with? Like, so what's some of the traits that she shows you that you know, okay, I can build with you? Not being greedy. Like, then your intentions pure. If I, I can see, if I see like her attention ain't pure, like, nah, like, if I, she just trying to use me, Hell yeah, nah, but if she, uh, change period, y'all go 50-50. I mean, y'all pay it all, but I don't know. I don't think you can go 50-50 with a girl. Somebody gonna pay it for her anyways. <laughs> Somebody gonna do that shit anyway. If it ain't gonna be you, it's gonna be somebody, bro. Yeah, it ain't gonna be somebody who gonna pay it. Even if you just meet a girl on the street and you be like, I ain't doing this, I'm only doing this with my main bitch. You still like, you still pay for something. And yeah. somebody else pay the other part. Yeah. Whether you spend it or not, you still pay for something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you still pay for something. Yeah, you still pay for something. Yeah, you still pay for something. Yeah, you still pay whether you spend time or money, bro, you don't you don't spend that shit somewhere yeah, somehow. God, time wasting my yeah, yeah wasting exactly. time. That shit aggravate too. Hell yeah. yeah. What's some of the lessons you can say that you learned in 2022 that you applying in 2023? Uh, just being focused. I wasn't focused when I first got it. Like I was focused, but then 
my home. Then after my home went out, then I had, I really wasn't focused, but then I got back focused. God, you really can't let that get to you though. You can't be trying to be in the streets. You just left the streets. You can't just go backwards. That's why I had to think to myself. Yeah, yeah. And you can't just go backwards. So would you say the transition from the streets to the music industry was hard for you? Nah. Yeah, it was. It was. But not really. Cause once I got in the music, once I felt like I was in the music industry, like I just, I got focused. Yeah. yeah. What else you working on besides music right now? Oh no, I don't really be doing that besides music. So what's some of the other revenues of income that you're interested in besides music? I want to get into houses, but because that seems easy, like just find a house and build it up. And, like a business, I start a business. Like, like a business selling like something. I start a business like that. But right now I'm focused on music though. Yeah, yeah. Cause that's the main point of income. I can't focus good. on that other stuff. I ain't know if I'm gonna make no money yet. Yeah, yeah, you gotta build one up yeah. before you build another one yeah, up. Yeah, I gotta focus on music right now. Real spill. Any last words and shout outs? Uh, yeah. Shout out Sin. Shout out Scott. Uh, Scott. For Lil Tony. For, for 952 Rack. For Rez, Lil Ray. Shout out to them. It's fine. Hold on, like anti all them. All the young niggas coming up. Real spill, man. Oh, yeah, Profit all them niggas. Shout out Profit Child. I fuck with Profit too. I fuck with all them. I fuck with everybody. I ain't got no problem with nobody. Yeah. God. How that make you feel like the new age of Atlanta was just accepting you like shit, Ken? Come fuck with us too. Cause I ain't friends, so I ain't got no problems with nobody. Yeah. It's like, just like, like, why you think like, why you think certain people make it so far cause they don't get business messed up with? Like, you can't get business in like, Personal and, shit. Your, and your personal feelings and mixed up because they ain't gonna work out. Like yeah. you can't do that. You gotta be just, if you in the business, rap business, you gotta be in the rap business for money. You can't be in it for relationships. So I don't really be caring. I don't really be in no. I don't really like I fuck with saying hard. And, and I fuck with a couple people hard, but really it just be business. Like getting the business out of it. God. Cause we all got different families. We all gotta feed different families. I can't be worried about what you doing. Yeah. God. That's real shit. What's some of the words of wisdom that some of these rappers done gave to you that you don't apply to your everyday life? I don't know. I don't have no words. Ain't nobody gave you no five bucks like that. I didn't. I didn't throw. Let me see. They be telling me they proud of me though. For How me. that make you feel though? Good. Real I shit. Yeah, I'll be for yeah. I for that. That's why you're proud of me. So how we coming 2023, Ken? Man, it's coming different, man. I'm gonna come up with a new sound. Coming different, just coming harder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Appreciate you having you on the porch with me today, my boy. All right, man. Real